Hey guys, it's Nadine. I am here to share with you all something new that I'm using in my Filofax. Um, on Saturday, I posted a picture on Instagram and then had a lot of private messages on YouTube and a couple of comments on uh, Instagram asking me what exactly was the system that I'm using. And I will insert a picture of the actual IG picture that I posted <clears throat> in this video. So let me kind of go back and explain um, how I came up <clears throat> with this and what system I'm using. So um, last April or May, I think it was, I'm thinking it was April, but it might have been in May. I am a fan and follower of Kent from Oz. For those of you who are on the Filofax community, on Filofaxy and whatnot, you all are familiar with him. Um, I really enjoy his things as well as Ray, who's at um, My Life All in One Place. Um, Ray has great printouts, free printouts that I use um, in my Filofax and I have shown in the past my financial file of facts that I use, his expense envelopes in that. Um, I will link both Ray and Kent in the description box below. <clears throat> now, like I said, back in April or May, I saw the system that Kent was using. And he also made a video as well. Um, and the system is based on this right here. This is called a Chronodex. And this system um, was developed by a guy named Patrick Ng, um, NG, and um, he developed a system where people who like or who prefer to see their things visually can jot down and plan their day based on the clock, okay? So this template right here represents the face of a clock and how it would look. This is the 12, here's three, six, and nine on a clock. Um, he also has the other times, so like segments of time, one and two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way around, which is exactly like, like I said, a clock, okay? Um, but let me show you guys how this, how this works. So based on um, Patrick's setup, like I said, this is the clock face, and um, each section corresponds to positions on the clock, and the numbers on a clock. Um, and then he has within each section or you know our section 15 minute intervals or increments. However, he starts off the morning on the inner circle, in the inner circle. So six, seven, eight starts in here. And he believes that most people start their day at 9 a.m. So this right here is 9 a.m. 10, 12, and then it starts spiraling outwards this way and ends up back at 12 midnight um, that's how he has his chronodex set up I also saw I, I also watch Marianne's videos and she uses the same setup and um, it works really well for her I did not uh, I don't really like this template or this setup it just visually it's not pleasing to me um, I don't understand this part, well, when I first saw this, I didn't quite understand it. Um, and when Kent brought it up, I was like, oh, that looks so confusing. It's visually just confusing to me. Um, I don't like how the segments are different heights. I don't know why that would be. Um, although as I look at it, no, I still don't get it. <laughs> Forget that. Um, so, you know, these different spikes and different widths and uh, or different lengths or heights of the intervals they kind of get me all confused again so I didn't really like them I didn't like this system um, and I don't like having to start off my day in the inner circle because this doesn't give me a lot of space to keep track of anything honestly um, and so for myself I just couldn't grasp this concept the way that it is okay um, but I have been hunting since then, off and on, okay, I've been hunting for different Chronodex systems. And I've found another one, um, and let me show you guys. And this one is by a lady named Kathy, and I will also link Kathy in the description box below. Now, based on the same concept, it is a clock face, 12, 3, 6, and 9, all of the coordinating numbers or times in between. Um, but she has her setup where if you were to log something down, um, 
this, the inner circle right here, this inner ring right here, that would be the morning. Okay, so instead of writing in here, this would be the morning, the middle would be the afternoon or midday, and then the outer ring would be the evening times. Now, you're still like, what the hell is this? I still don't get it. Okay, so let me just say this. So what happens with both of these systems is, is such. You look at this thing and what you would do is you would color code like you do in your Filofax or like I do anyway. And what you would do is you would color code different chunks of time based on what you're doing. Okay, so it still doesn't make sense. I know I'm going to explain it even better, you know, coming up. Okay, so like I said, this is Patrick's version and this is Kathy's version. Now, Kent came up with a better version and here is his better version of it. And I will explain to you exactly why I like it and how it works for me. And then I think once I show you guys how I use it, I think it's easier to grasp from that point forward. So what I did was I saw uh, Kent's updated version on his blog and I was like, oh my gosh, this is stinking brilliant because it is visually pleasing. The times don't, your morning doesn't start on the inside of your circle. It actually starts right here, which is sort of an inside, but still it is the, everything is uniform. The segments are all uniform and then it spirals outward. So from the inside outward all the way to midnight, which I can love. I can appreciate that. I can, I get it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So what I did was I took Kent's, uh, I took a, what do you call it? A screenshot of Kent's template. I put it in uh, PSC or Photoshop Elements. I um, changed the size of it and I also removed the date that he had in here. Um, and then I put it on a transparent background so that way when I print it on paper, I could print it on any paper and I won't have any kind of background on it. So this is what I came up with and this is actually my sample. The reason why this is a sample is because I had to figure out what else I wanted to add on the page and so I do have some other little notes here and this is just my template that I'm going to use for my Filofax. <clears throat> now, let me show you guys this in the works, okay? So that it's easier to grasp once I show you how I use it. So, first and foremost, what you're going to need <clears throat> is the template. Okay, so let me kind of... <clears throat> scoot out a little bit so as you can see here is my template that I did like I said I took it printed it on graph paper and I cut it down to size punch the holes cut it down to size here it is okay so here is Kent's template and this and he calls it a spiral dex which is brilliant I think so as you can see my morning starts at 6 a.m. and this is today and it spirals outward now using my color coding system um, you can see what I'm doing so it shows me my productivity or how productive I am and how much time I'm spending um, on different things in my life okay and I know you're like that is just crazy <clears throat> not really maybe maybe overkill for some but for me I like it I'm a crafter I tend to like things I like to see things visually whenever I plan something out I always jot notes down I always try to write draw a picture when I can like when I redesigned my craft room that's what I did drew a picture and then made notes all over this is the same concept it is a picture quick overview and then all of the notes are going to be all over the page okay <clears throat> or around now some people have their chrono deck system or their spiral deck system differently set up differently but this is what's been working for me um, if you look at other people's way that they utilize their spiral decks or chrono decks it can be a little bit overwhelming because they're they do have notes all over the place i like to keep mine simple and confined so anyhow let me explain so here's my color coding key purple is for me red is for family or house things and then green is for work today i happen to be working from home luckily um <clears throat> this is my kids last week of school and i wanted to spend as much time with them as possible this week before they get back to school um <clears throat> so i'm working from home today and i think i'm working half days the rest of the week um just so that i can do stuff with them and you know we can enjoy our last hurrah for the week um, before they get ready for school so anyway, let me show you guys how this is working. So as you can see right here, there's purple. And from 6 to 8 o'clock this morning was me time. So me time consisted of doing my yoga, doing my Pilates. I do yoga and Pilates almost every day now. I am loving it. Taking a, a shower, a leisure shower, um, you know, putting on my face, doing my hair, whatnot, okay? Um, just things, stuff for me just to get ready, get kick-started in the morning. Um, and then from 9 o'clock all the way to 12 or no i'm sorry from well not even nine o'clock eight o'clock to like one um i spent time doing home stuff and family stuff so 
what that is is as you can see I have everything you know like colored in to be red which says that right well if you want to know exactly what I did within this time you move down here to the bottom portion and then you can see my to-do list now um, for these little things right here to do email call and whatnot I went ahead and used my studio L2E planet stamps right here um, this stamp set is good for everything and it's dirty because I have to clean it so don't mind but that just shows you guys that I use this thing every stinking evening every night I look in my file of facts and I start to stamp whatever I need to do for the next day and then right fill it in um, I use this I use <clears throat> my Versa Magic Midnight Black, and then I use this little Tim Holtz acrylic block, right that. So these three things are a must in my Filofax system. Um, <clears throat> so I stamped it out, and like I said, in my to-do thing right here, you can see what exactly these things, this red thing right here would, would, you know, would be. So basically, I had to do some banking, I had to, you know, take out money, um, I had to put some money into another account, into my account, my business account, uh, for tax purposes. Um, I have a rack list that I need to make. I did some menu planning today that I didn't do yesterday. And I had to do some of these other things. Um, and then I had one thing to call. And then for dinner, I'm making chicken tortilla soup. Okay. So these are the things that, like I said, I did here. Now then, at 1 o'clock from 1 to 4, I worked. So that's in green. Um, and then again, here's some family time. So family time again would mean anything that I didn't finish up here and cooking dinner and getting things ready for the kids for tomorrow <clears throat> and cleaning kitchen and all of that stuff. Then again, from 9 to 11, I see, okay, here, this is my time. These are This is my time. This is what I'm going to do. Um, so, you know, this is the time that I use to um, spend time with my hubby because my kids are going to bed at 9 o'clock. Um, so I spend time with him, we watch a show or two, usually just one, you know, little thing we watch together. Um, I look at my file of facts, I prep for the next day, and whatnot. Um, so this is what it is. So what this allows you to do is look in, look at your day, and see what you are, how you're distributing your time throughout the day, and how, and your, and how, how do I put this? Um, how your productivity, what you're utilizing it towards. Um, so me time, family time, work time, family time, me time. I think that's a great balance. Um, you got to have a little bit of you time. And then, especially for those of you who don't include you time, this is a perfect time to pencil yourself in. You can see, hey, you know what, from this time to this time, it's going to be me and whatever. You know, and whatever you decide to do in that time, whether it be crafting or whether it be filling out your file of facts or whether it be just doing nothing, reading a book, watching TV, whatever, that's your time. Schedule it in, you know. Um, so now, this is the page that I use and I do really like it. Uh, I've been using it and I, and I am liking it. I also have up here, don't forget, um, these are the things, looking at this page right away, that these are the things that I need to do right away. Again, this is from my planet um, stamp set, <clears throat> the don't forget and the two stars. Um, and then also I have the hydrate thing right here, which I haven't checked off, but if I had to check it off, only I've only had six glasses of water so far. Six, two, four, yep, two, four, six. And you know what? It's so strange because I can actually been, I've been keeping track of how much water consumption I've been taking in. And every day I end up at six. I don't get to the eight. And I don't think of it as I'm a failure. I actually think of it as, hey, you know what? That's actually four more that, than I used to drink. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. Now, if I had to compare this to, um, and you can see the page marker that I made from before. If I had to compare this to the tra tra to the traditional um, Filofax page, I love this too, and I use it as well. Okay, um, and so I have like here is my traditional Filofax page, and on it, um, you know, I I don't have anything on this side because I work from home. But these it, this is a more detailed version of things on this page again you might think it's overkill but I actually like it because um, I can write bullet points here and then on this side <clears throat> this is a more you know um, detailed explanation of the things on the other page so I do I don't know 
I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I have to, um, I don't think I'm gonna use this every single day, but there are some days where this is necessary. I am loving it. I really like it. I think it's really good. Like I said, especially for us crafters that are more visual learners, there, there's a couple of types of people. There are people that learn in different types of ways, visually or audially, um, you know, and so I do believe that this kind of is good. It gives me a great overview. So to recap, what again, what this shows is this spiral deck shows, this is the chunk of my day right here, okay? This is what's happening in my day. And any kind of details would then be written on the outside. Now let me show you I, the one that I actually put up on IG. This is the actual picture that I used on IG. Now let me, it's the same concept, I have the same things. Don't forget at the top I have my hydration, I have my, co my color code, and then what I needed to do, and I also have my um, menu planning, which you'll see the same thing twice because I didn't make this on yesterday, on Sunday. But here is my day. So. Me time again is purple, 7 to 8 because I don't get up very early on the weekends. Uh, on Sunday and Saturday I have to because I work. Um, so me time, yoga time, take a shower, okay? And then from 8 to 11, that's family time. However, there's a change in our schedule because my kids, uh, their friends called and said, hey, you know what, my, my you know, their, their friends, parents wanted to take them to a movie. So at 9.30 they got picked up and I, as you can see, I drew a line out here and I have a description here. The same thing happened up here. There was something else that happened that I needed to notate. So here it is. I used the 15 minute increments to notate something and then I have the uh, information right here. So do you see again, here's the date that I use, here's the things that I'm doing and the chunk of time within my day and then all of the details outside. So, um, and I really, really like it. I just really like the system. Um, I hope this was helpful and useful to some of you. Uh, if you guys have any questions about exactly how this works that I haven't already answered or you feel I haven't explained well enough, please let me know and I will be more than happy to explain in further detail. Um, and this is the current system that I'm using. So I am using in conjunction to the regular Filofax page, the Dana page, I use this in conjunction with that. So uh, I will put everybody that I have listed um, Oh, and you know what? You might want to check out. I also saw this from Sarah, and then Mary is also using this too, and she has a video that I will put in the description box below that she did, and I think she put up yesterday. Um, or, yeah. Yeah, she put up, so I'll put the link for that. But Sarah Pings. Hey, Sarah. She's my girl from across the pond. I love her. Um, she has a video up. Uh, Kent has a video up. Mary Ann has a video up. And Mary now. So there's five videos up, including mine, about how to use this and um, and whatnot. So I will link everybody in the description box below. And I hope this was helpful and um, explained some things to you all. And I will be back to talk story with you guys later. Take care, guys. Bye.